the states, uh, there's a really big focus um, in just the national education on recycling, um, on renewable energy, and you know, and just having awareness of things like global warming, um, things like pollution, how these things us as people and affect the earth. Um, a thing that I definitely notice here in the Philippines is that there are a lot of people who don't seem to have that type, t that same type of respect and that same type of awareness um, of the effects of these types of things. You can go downstairs and you'll see, you know, just garbage everywhere. You'll see a kid just sip it on some milk and then throw it off. Um, it's because there's there's always the, there's always the mentality that um, oh you know um, it's only it's only one card and it's it's a it's a little thing but the thing is everybody thinks that way so you know this is a thing that keeps on going and you know it's just a repetitive cycle so I think what's really important about uh, being on a show like this with all these type of different um, artists is that you know we have a voice and you know we can actually change the way that people think in this country and the way we approach. Um, you know, the way we live our lives here. So, there you go. Uh, like what Russell was saying, it is our role to somehow uh, sh give knowledge to the to the people and influence people, the youth especially. Um, and it's very important. I mean, para sa akin, I'm also learning as well through uh, the experience, you know, like um, going through this, like this project, I'm learning a lot from it. And with that, we're given the opportunity to uh, share it with people and really and influence them and inspire them to somehow you know, help our own country and somehow, you know, do things the right way and not just depend on other countries and really work for our for our own country rather than having people uh, coming into our country and kind of just taking our money, you know what I mean? It's, I feel like that's what's happening and uh, like what I said earlier, I'm just going to say giving importance to our own is uh, something I, that's very important para sa because I mean, I grew up in the States, half of, States, half of my life I, I lived in the States, pero nung pumunta ako dito, napansin ko na parang yung mga bata hindi, hindi marunong magtagalog para sa akin importante na mahalin yung sariling sa atin dahil that's the only thing we have you know we could only uh, like sell so much things that, are, that we could call our own but if we don't even actually love our own things then parang how are we gonna grow as a nation as a country parang if we keep comparing ourselves to other countries what's that gonna do you know if we don't actually put the work in and the effort then what's gonna happen so para sa akin yun lang po yung parang masasabi ko po yeah. just an aside it's really good that you have a hit song in Tagalog you're showing uh -huh many young um, yeah. young ones that uh, it's cool, oh, exactly you didn't put music para parang i noticed not in daming songs there are foreign songs in the charts but it's important that we love our own music opm and i'm glad that they chose singers as well for this show na para we can promote also our music which is also part of our culture yeah Yeah, so expect every episode to have new OPM songs in it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's, that's, that's putting in too much pressure for us. Uh, I, I think what Inigo said was also true. Na the thing, when, when you see us learning also, like me, as, a, as part of the G-Squad, like being able to learn in, in this project, it's also like when you watch shows, the you you see people learning in it or developing, developing the project. It, it feels like you want to be a part of it as well so like and and also um about all of the singers that they they got for g squad like parang it, it feels the same way parang i don't i don't think it's right for us to for us to have fun we have to go to a different country or for us uh, for us to to appreciate our lives, sometimes we feel like, oh, I, I feel so draggy, like here in, in the Philippines, why don't I travel somewhere outside of our country? But in reality, like, we have so many beautiful spots in the Philippines. It's just a matter of perspective and, and the mindset and just being able to push it to people because you know, we don't have the platform to, to show where, where these places are, but then, here we are having the opportunity to show it, to showcase what how beautiful our country is to people, and I think it's it's really amazing. And you know, the learning, the learning of uh, the the learning that we will will be able to do in the show, I think it will inspire a lot of viewers. This is for Miss Gina.